hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm going to do a tiktok makeup look to actually so on tiktok and no way i have to try this it's summer makeup of course in kenya we do don't I need have a summer. season like to rock this makeup look i don't think so so basically guys it's just a blue eyeshadow look and i just realized i have not done like pure blue in a long 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 time so I but first we have to start looking cute first off first off let's just look cute so i'm going to put on this <laughs> as if this is going to make me look cute but anyway i'm just going to put on this um headband but first some wig caps so i'm going to double layer this wig caps it's at least to look normal and cute <laughs> yeah so today I've, i'm wearing blue and i'm also wearing like this blue headband just because <laughs> As usual, we are going to start off with our eyebrows and I'm just using a spoolie to comb them out. And then after taking the spoolie, I am going to use a pencil yeah, to fill in the eyebrows because she did do soap brows, but I'm not going to do soap brows because I barely have any eyebrows. And if I just use a pencil to create soap brows, they'll look weird. So after filling in my eyebrows, I'm going to take a mascara just to act as an eyebrow uh, wax. I mean, mascaras do dry down to a matte finish and like to it holds the hair down and then after that i'm just going to go in with um a spoolie and just make it fine you know like just draw a proper outline with a spoolie and then now i'm just using a concealer and the concealer that i'm using is the maybelline super stay full coverage under eye concealer and this is the shade honey which is super super light i could have easily gone like even one or two shades uh, darker for this concealer but it's okay because it defines the brows and then for the next step we are actually going to do some um priming of the eyes and for priming i've also used the same concealer and then now i'm going to apply that color from the makeup revolution palette all over my eyes just to create a base and then you saw that she drew a line sort of like in the crease of the eye and i'm just going to use two shades that maroon shade that you saw so i'm just drawing like a line in the crease of my eye and then i'm also going in with that darker shade in the crease of my eye too now because i don't have a blue liner and this is an ocean blue look i'm going to go in with my micellar water on a brush and then i'm going to dip it in those neon pigments and specifically that's like um the blue neon pigments and as you can see it's created a beautiful beautiful shade of blue liner so i'm just going to use that as a liner and then i'm going back to with that shade of blue from the makeup Le revolution palette and i'm just going to buff that out like to create like to make it more buff basically just adding more meat to the eyeliner and then after that i am going to go in with a third shade although i didn't show you what shade um it was sort of lighter and i just applied it at the top and then i'm going to go back in with that shade that i showed you and i'm going to put it in the inner corner of my eye now we are doing our eyeliner and for eyeliner i'm going to use my usual maybelline colossal casual eyeliner in the shade black and i'm just going to uh, line my waterline and then now it's time to contour my nose because i normally feel like i prefer to contour my nose before i put on my eyelashes so i'm just using my makeup revolution bronzer in the shade dark and that's the one that i'm going to use for my nose contour where all my friends are what do i do why is it so hard to find someone new so far away are the days I for primer for the face i'm going to use the maybelline fit me matte and poreless primer and that is what i'm going to apply all over my face apart from the areas that i've applied makeup and then i'm going to go in with foundation now the foundation that i'm using is not my actual shade although it does oxidize and become like sort of my shade but it is the undertones especially i just feel like the undertones are wrong for my skin color and then next we are going to do our concealer and i'm using the same same concealer which was the maybelline uh super stay concealer and that is the shade honey and i'm just going to use a brush to buff that in and also followed by a beauty blender just to make sure that the concealer is evenly blended now that concealer i was using it just to brighten my under eyes um because 
brighter under eyes give a more youthful look and then i'm going to tap in just a little bit on the center of my nose because i just applied my bronzer around my nose but i didn't apply on the center of my nose now i'm going to go in with the sasha buttercup setting powder and i'm going to use that to set my concealer so that's what i've applied just to set my concealer and we are going to do our lips i've also put on lashes if you guys noticed now i'm going to do my lips and i'm going to create like those gen z lips honey anyway so basically i'm, I'm just like basically do creating um boot lips were they boot lips no do lips <laughs> do lips and i've just applied a black liner all over and then now i'm going to go in with this revlon ultra hd vinyl lip polish that i've been loving loving of late um because i just realized that i used to have it but i never used to use it much but it is so gorgeous as you can see combined with that black liner just creates a really really nice finish and then that lady that you saw on tiktok actually had a lip piercing but because i don't have a lip piercing and i just thought the lip piercing added more character to the look so i've just put like a jewel on top of my filter on top of my lip now i'm going to remove the excess powder and then after removing the excess powder, I'm going to apply blush. Uh, for blush, I'm using my usual Crayola Lip and Cheek Color. I need better blush, guys. But anyway, and then I'm going to go in with that Revlon Insta Fix Highlighting Stick. So I've combined the highlighter and the blush, and I'm just going to pat that in. After patting that in, um, I'm going to do setting powder. And I'm going to do the Black Opal Setting Powder. And this is their Soft Velvet Finishing Powder in the shade Matte. And I'm going to apply that all over my face. Except on my eyes and lips. And my nose. So after applying that setting powder, we are also going to do um, highlighter. And I'm going to use my usual NYX High Glass Illuminating Powder. I'll only apply it on the apple of my cheeks not really the apple but you know the high point of my cheeks so basically that's where i'm applying the highlighter where you guys can see it's a finished look.